ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಧವಗೀತಾ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಪೇಜ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಬಾಟಮ್ ಯಿತ್ತ ಪ್ರಸೀದೇತ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಚೃತಿ ದೇಹಿ ಭಯ ಮನೋಸಂಗಿಮತ್ಪದ ಲಾಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಉದ್ಧವ ವಿತ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ದಿ ತ್ರೀ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಅದರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಆರ್ ಪೇನ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಸಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ಫೇವರಬಲ್ ಅನ್ಕಂಜೀನಿಯಲ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ when they come human being tries to get rid of from them any suffering mental agony fear anger or disgust any type of inner uncomfortable feeling comes a person always search a thing what is the cause for the disturbance how to get rid of from that thing or person or situation this is the way human being always search this is called um, tapping the wrong door for solution to get rid of that pain or any sort of unpleasant things mind cannot withstand normally they search for solution but mostly wrong solution only they take what is the reason just like a doctor if he is not uh, able to diagnose the disease properly whatever medicine he gives it doesn't work however much costly that medicine if diagnosis is not correct whatever medicine you give it doesn't work similarly here also in human life also almost all people struggling to make one's life comfortable peaceful joyful for that sake they want to get rid of some unfavorable unpleasant things for that they take wrong measures or wrong solutions they fail in getting rid of that uh, unpleasant situations or people what is the reason wrong diagnosis where is the problem lying they have to find out the problem is in the gunas when samoguna is there rajoguna is there life is most unpleasant life is most unpleasant and painful also very difficult to diagnose this it is not easy unless a person come to shastra as early as possible prevention is better than cure intelligent person never wait for a disease and going for a doctor for the treatment intelligent person who want to be healthy always take precautions preventive methods to avoid the disease 
that is called intelligence intelligence is not after getting running after for a doctor and medicines hospital to hospital that is most unintelligent thing let me see when it comes i can look after why i have to bother now like that people think but shastra says it is not correct we know the statement prevention is better than cure but how many people are working for prevention therefore you have to develop immunity at physical level to maintain the health of the body immunity for that there are so many factors so food factor sleep factor exercise factor so many factors are there so that person must be knowledgeable what type of food is good for my health what type of exercise is good for my health how many hours i have to sleep all these measures he will take care of that is the way he will work out for that uh, prevention of disease this is very clear for everyone similarly with regard to the mind also with regard to the mind also one has to prepare mental agony is the most powerful uh, painful uncomfortable disease like manasika vyadhi for that what is the solution and diagnosis first first you have to diagnose what is the reason lord krishna is this like a psychiatrist <laughs> he is working here as a psychiatrist satvik people rajasik people tamasik people tamasik people and rajasik people mostly unhappy people satvik person is mostly happiest person but uh, it doesn't look uh, is it correct is this gunas work like that if not why krishna will talk like this krishna is telling so clearly intelligent person observe this learn this understand this and implement we have best shastra worst implementation we have best shastra but least implementation or wrong implementation or no implementation why can't we make use of this best shastra and people are busy running here and there working money 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 life and all they have no time to study shastra how many people know the importance of shastra giving time for shastra how many very 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 you can count on finger tips finger tips intelligent people very rare most of them are unintelligent na intelligent na shastra they will do like all of you they would have come now look into this shloka 16th verse lord krishna says arjuna muddhava my abode is my place is my residence is satvik person's heart mat padam vidhi tat satvam where in which person the satva guna is there i reside in that heart underline this line shloka is very important bhagwan is that's why hanuman is able to show ram sita lakshmana sameta is there in the hanuman's heart mat padam hey hanuman is satvik person yada when chittam prasideta what is that greatness of satvik person how bhagwan is residing in his heart hmm? bhagwan has chosen the residence where that satvik person's hridayam because his chittam his mind is antakaranam is prasideta very calm and relax no control over anything only contribution no resistance always accepting whatever comes in front of his life 
and one shloka Bhartrihari lies, uh, uh, ri writes here, you know, Pari, Paribrahma, the people are running all over, trying to control, to change the people, the situations and all, but intelligent person never try to correct others, Night, never try to correct the situations. He adopt himself, he correct himself or adopt himself to the situations and to the people. That is the intelligent way of uh, doing what he says. Na? Paribrahmati kim mudha vachana chitta vipshram yata. Why oh mind? He is addressing his why mind. Oh mind, why you are unnecessarily wandering? Paribrahmati kim mudha. Unnecessarily why you are wandering? You know? Vachana chitta vipshram yata. May you relax sometime. Swayam bhavati yattadha, bhavati tattadha, nanyadha. Whatever is uh, happening, let it happen. Why you are so much worried about what is going to happen, happen, happen? Hmm? Because not only that, atita mananusmaran, don't uh, worry about the, don't feel guilt about the past. Atita Mananas Ananasmaran, don't think about the past. Apicha Bhavi Bhavi Asankalpayan, don't plan too much about the future. Too much planning about the future is also not correct. Apicha Bhavi Asankalpayan, may you not worry about too much about present future. Atarkita samagaman, without arguing, whatever samagaman, whatever comes into your life, anubhavascha bhogani ha, may you undergo, may you experience, don't try to resist, don't try to control the things and situations and people because they are not in, our, in your control. Sattvic person knows that. That is why his mind is so calm and relaxed like Manasarovar. <laughs> Indriyanamcha nirvritihi, his sense organs, because of sattvic nature, sense organs are also always in a uh, pious condition, they are not restless. No? Ears, eyes, nose, hands, legs and all, sense organs, karma indriyani, jnana indriyani, they are all not disturbed because mind is not disturbed therefore sense organs are not disturbed if sense organs are disturbed means mind is disturbed and earth there is no turbulence in the mind because bhagavan is there bhagavan will take care of why to worry unnecessarily am i going to change the situation let it come whatever comes like that dehe abhayam Deha Vishaye Abhayam, Vishaye Saptami, with regard to the body also. Let it happen what happens to the body. From toe to hair, except toe and hair, any part of the body can get any sort of complaints, problems. One person does lot of exercise, get good food, everything is there, but he becomes a sick person, disease comes. One person never do any exercise he is hale and healthy. Like that, why? And I don't know. But does not mean you should not do exercise. You have to do yoga, abhyasa, you have to do. Take care of your body as much as possible, what you can do. But does not mean neglecting the body. The sattvic person take care of his body and um, always maintain that uh, tranquility of the mind because of contentment there is no resistance there is no condition it's not conditional manaha asangam see that mind is uh, asangam not attached to anything like a lotus leaf <laughs> lotus leaf uh, how it is in that pond not touched by the water like that, asangam manaha. That is sattvam vidhi he uddhava. May you understand this is called sattva gunam. 
because of that sattva what is the advantage bhagwan loves that person bhagwan's favorite bhagwan reside in the sattvic people most manifestation more manifestation of the lord in them bhagwan residing in the, their heart means what bhagwan's manifestation is more in that in that person's heart is there bhagwan manifestation means divinity divinity will be there in that person if you sit near that person around the person you also feel so tranquil happy relaxed you love to see that person you love to talk to that person why because you feel happy why because he is sattvic why because bhagwan is more manifesting in him what is the reason mind is tranquil sense organs are tranquil and he is very very accommodative happy joyful no negativity at all hmm? always some people open their mouth they talk negatively only everything negative very feel uncomfortable to be with them and so you feel like to be with those people who always be positive who always cheerful correct we don't like to be with those people who are all negative and pessimistic we don't like then what i don't like in others i should not therefore i should not be pessimistic i should not be negative because people nobody likes that people dislike let me not be a negative thinking person pessimistic diff- diffident mentality all these are what to be washed off first that is the called cleaning of the mind okay wonderful sattva guna person is a, a person who is really an wow bhagwan's abode is a temple like we can say where bhagwan is available in the temple bhagwan's abode temple is bhagwan's abode sattvic person's body is a temple like his heart antakaranam is like garbhagraha bhagwan is sitting there that is why mahatma sar all who are all sattvic people love to go there and sit and relax why they get relaxation what is the secret anga pona ennu nimmadi irukka swami ni if i see that person if i see that mahatma i feel what is the reason tell me this is the reason because they are highly sattvic highly highly sattvic they are also having rajoguna they are also having tamoguna but 98% is sattva guna only 1% 1% rajoguna tamoguna my god what a beautiful personality sattvic personality so what everyone has to get sattvic personality that is the idea let us go to the next page 17th verse vikurvan kriyaya chaadhi anirvrtit anivrtitcha chetasam gatra swastha gatra swasthya mano bhrantam raja etai nishamaya nishamaya okay. now rajasik personality rajasik person so personality what is the personality of a rajasik person you can say that rajasa purusha is that who is having a rajasik personality quite opposite to satva satvik person quite opposite to satvik person what is that vikurvan kriyaya he is always busy 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 dynamic person highly dynamic hmm? body level dynamic mind level dynamic vikurvan he is dynamic in doing various activities kriyaya means he is doing un- many many projects many many activities busy 
with doing either office work or home work or any work anywhere or social work some or thing or other cha dhi cha adhiraha a plus dhiraha adhiraha a plus dhihi dhiraya dhihi plus anivritti cha cha dhiraha that dhihi plus anivrittisch cha dhir anivrittisch so how you have to split a plus dhihi a person whose mind is all over the world going here and there very very shattered mind hmm. um, what you can call a distracted mind Were all over the world because of so many activities adhi adhiraha sorry adhihi adhihi asamantad vikshiptadhihi yasya saha whose mind is whose mind is running here wandering you can say wandering all over all over all over means in all these objects where reduction sale is which shop or reduction sale which bazaar which you know order ordering the things getting things buying things changing the old things getting new things like that always nir anivritti che chetasam satvik person is nirvritti he withdraws his sense organs too much ಹೈಲಿ ಇದ ಕಾಲು ಕೈ ಆಡಿಂಡೇ ಇರ್ಕೊ ಇವನಕ್ಕೆ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಹೈಲಿ ಹೈಪರ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ವಿನರ್ ಅನಿವೃತ್ತಿ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹೈಲಿ ವಾಂಡರಿಂಗ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಂಡರಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗಾನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಹೈಲಿ ಹೈಪರ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ always restless now the people keeping yoga after international yoga day before also in offices everywhere they are keeping yoga uh, even in yoga time also they are very hurry bury not they are able to relax many people do yoga nowadays like exercise they don't do relax way hmm? all are they may are making the dynamic yoga yoga is always relaxed calm and you to chitta vritti nirodha to make your mind calm why to do dynamic yoga adi kuda exercise madri panni all they do like that only in offices and all is it and two minutes meditation two minutes how to relax how can you relax all the stress really stress releasing programs workshops they conduct in offices hmm? all this uh, won't to work unless a person is reduced with the draws too much of money a craving is there he has to work overworking this person is workaholic nirvritti anivrittis cha chetasam mind is not uh, withdrawn it is always but he is a great achiever he does so many things he do this and that so what why you see him so modern world we are thinking uh, and people parents say my son my daughter doing this that and all whatever they do whatever they accomplish what materialistic materialistic life so high advanced to take up so what so what lot of things they are achieving all worldly things materialistic things are they going to give happiness to this person or to the world modern world western world is nothing but bhoga bhumi is they are all materialistically prosperous lands how much happy they are you see the world now every very tension stress anxiety a lot of diseases are coming 
but you see our culture previously olden days also people are very simple looks like poverty and but they are very happy relaxed people so people world is recognizing very late it is very late too late you have to reach the station before the train is leaving you reach the station after the train leaving what is the use of reaching station similarly realizing the greatness of uh, our culture our lifestyle our vedas our scriptures at the age of a very last fag end of the life they recognize or almost uh, no, almost closer to retirement they recognize how much you can enjoy your life you cannot enjoy that is why after earning all money after settling down settling down <laughs> Uh, let me think of vedanta this is one type of thinking people hmm? let me settle first let me settle first later after doing kalyanam to my daughter my son and everything after settling everything i will go to ashram i do study of bhagavad gita what is this type of thinking hmm? this thinking is not a correct thinking even children parents also think let my daughter earn money let my son earn money let them enjoy now later they will come to vedanta hey, what do they come later like you only after the 70 60 they come and uh, they cannot get any benefit but um, too late <laughs> too late an intelligent people they are an artha intelligent people and uh, the imbibe early age vikurvan i am not disappointing anyone but i have to tell the facts okay anirvrittischa chetasam gatram aswasthyam gatra aswasthyam aswasthyam means body level also he is stressful aswasthyam means there is no healthy body you know, already uh, running here and there wandering mind restless mind very very hyperactive mind how body can body shivering and uh, not uh, having any steadiness in the body aswasthyam there is in the pain and the pain edo or complaint always tummal varudhu cough varum chinna chinna dikke ellathume edo or complaint varum anything anywhere happens in first it will attack this person only <laughs> because uh, always a rajasik person a restless person always effect because immunity will be less because of the less immunity any climate change comes this is the person is the target <laughs> they will attack any virus any flu or any fever anything he comes and attacks because of the mind is uh, stress stressful diseases all will come manaha bhrantam mind is having always a conflict inside there is a lot of conflict about this people children mother father or any other things in the family is having a conflict in the mind because of hyper activity i i saw many people like that because i was teaching yoga for many years Three, four decades, uh, people used to, varieties of people used to come, how tense, how anxious people are, hmm? I can observe them, my God, how they are managing, how their partner is managing with that person, how the family members are managing this person, like that I feel, but uh, very difficult to change that person, hmm? manaha bhrantam. mind is always under conflict because that uh, targets i want to achieve this i want to achieve that i want to achieve this i want to achieve that either this or that brantam what is that rajah rajah etaihi nisham nishamaya may you understand this is person is a rajasik person nishamaya ni sham dhatu means uh, highly irritable etaihi because of this uh, um, hyper activity mind sense organs are not uh, calm relaxed 
because of that physical uh, body level he is having a lot of uh, um, you know disturbances mind is so much of under conflict because of all this uh, he is highly irritable irritable <laughs> therefore for that person irritable bubble syndrome and varu often going to bathroom or motion irritable bubble syndrome and so on hyper active person ki bubbles will be hyper active like that nishamaya na irritable highly irritable person nisham dhatu 10th conjugation next shloka this is about rajasik personality all this we saw in bhagavad gita 17th chapter 14th chapter but this much a uh, elaboration of each guna is not there this is another very very t- different way of uh, uh, expansion of three gunas whatever whenever three gunas topic comes i love that topic because it is like a darpanam it is like a mirror it shows your personality where am i standing where am i now where i have to do corrections at what level to relax myself to enjoy peace to enjoy that calmness that is the best way for to study ourselves 18th shloka now about uh, tamo guna sattva guna over sattvic personality rajasic personality over now tamasic personality see the chittam vilita चेतसो ग्रहणे क्षम मनो नष्ट तमो ग्लानी तमस्तुपारय तत् उपधारय मे यू अंडरस्टैंड हे उद्धवा दैट तमो गुण तामसिक पर्सन पर्सनैलिटी इज लाइक दिस् चित्त सीदति सो द इंस्टेड ऑफ um atmanishtha he is in tamo nishtha see that he means he is very much committed to laziness <laughs> tamo nishtha ityadha see that he chittam viliyeta always vilina means what almost reflected consciousness hmm? is not able to uh, even uh, uh, work function properly in tamasic person reflected consciousness hmm, borrowing consciousness is also grahane akshamam to take the reflected consciousness fully from the chit this person is not available yenna is not in a waking state either sleepy or sleeping drowsy hmm, not responding anything because of that laziness tamo guna his mind is all incapable of receiving taking that rc fully mind is really eta chetasaha atma chaitanyam grahane akshamam here chetasaha means atma chaitanyam atma chaitanyam means reflected consciousness borrowing the reflected consciousness also he is incapable akshamam means incapable therefore you see you can see the people very bright very very sensitive and um, active eyes if you looked at the eyes itself so intelligent so brilliant so grasping and so receiving restoring retention capacity if you see some other people always uh, eyes uh, looks uh, so gloomy pathetic uh, Uh, you don't uh, have any brightness in the face uh, all these are the symptoms of tamo guna because that reflected consciousness is not uh, able to received by this person fully it will be there but not uh, he is not uh, having any brightness in his life kallallo brightness kadiyadu kannulo kadiyadu vadamulo kadiyadu manasulone kadiyadu edilone kadiyadu அதனால் சென்ஸ் ஆர்கான்ஸ் எல்லாமே அப்படியே ஒரு அந்த பைத்தான் மாதிரி அந்த பைத்தான் ஜூலை பார்த்தேடோ பைத்தான் 
அப்படியே தூங்கிட்டு இருப்பேன் எப்போவுமே யாரோ பெத்திடின்னு கொடுத்தன மாதிரி மனோ நஷ்டம் தமஹ பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தமோ குண மனஹ நஷ்டம் திங்கிங் திங்கிங் கெப்பாசிட்டி தமோ குண பிரதான பர்சன் திங்கிங் இஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் நில் ஹி நெவர் திங்க் அதே சின்ன வயசுலேருந்து பசங்களுக்கு நல்ல மியூசிக்கோ சங்கீதமோ விளையாட்டோ எது பிடிக்குமோ அதில் வைக்கணும் நல்ல ஆக்டிவாக இருக்கிற மாதிரி சோம்பேரி மாதிரி இருக்கக்கூடாது பேம்பரிங்னா இஃப் யூ பேம்பர் தெம் தேர் பிகம் சோம்பேரி தமோ குணான் ஐதர் வாட் எவர் தேர் லைக் கேம்ஸ் ஆர் மியூசிக் ஆர் டான்ஸ் ஆர் யோகா ஆர் சம் ஆர் திங் ஆர் அதர் ஆர் டூ த்ரீ நம்ம இட்ஸ் பேரண்ட்ஸ் தே கீப்பிங் டூ மச் ப்ரெஷர் ஆன் த சில்ட்ரன் டூ மெனி ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் இஸ் லேர்னிங் திஸ் தட் அண்ட் எவ்ரி திங் எல்லாம் அறக்குறை ஒன்றுமே சரியாக வராது அது மாதிரி இருக்கக்கூடாது தட்ஸ் வை பேரண்ட்ஸ் ஷுட் நோ வாட் இஸ் த லைக்கிங் வாட் இஸ் லைக்கிங் ஆஃப் த சைல்ட் வாட் ஹி ஆர் ஷி லைக்ஸ் பேரண்ட்ஸ் ஷுட் அப்சர்வ் தட் மனோ நஷ்டம் தமக பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் தமோ குண மைண்ட் இஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் பிளண்ட் நஷ்டம் தமக கிளானி தமசா ததுபதாய கிளானி மீன்ஸ் பெயின் கிளானி சினிக்கல் யூ கேன் சே சினிக்கல் மைண்ட் விஷாத யூ கேன் டேக் கிளானி மீன்ஸ் விஷாத ஆல்வேஸ் நெகட்டிவ் திங்கிங் பெசிமிஸ்டிக் இத்தியர்த்தக தமச தது தத் தமச இது உபதாரே பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தமோ குண மே யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஓ உத்தவா ஸோ வாட் நா திஸ் ஆர் ஆல் ஷுட் நாட் பி தேர் இன் மீ நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்லோக நைன்டீன் ஏதமானே குணே அசுராஜி தமசுராஜி ராஜசிக் பர்சன் தாமசிக் பர்சன் வாட் டைப் ஆஃப் பலம் வில் பி தேர் சாத்விக் பர்சன் இஸ் செல்ஃப்லெஸ் பர்சன் ராஜசிக் பர்சன் இஸ் செல்ஃபிஷ் பர்சன் தாமசிக் பர்சன் இஸ் ஹார்ம்ஃபுல் ஆல்வேஸ் ஹேவிங் ஹார்ம்ஃபுல் தாட்ஸ் சின்ஸ் சாத்விக் பர்சன் என்டர்டெய்னிங் சத்வகுண ஆல்வேஸ் செல்ஃப்லெஸ் தாட்ஸ் மெயின்டெய்னிங் த செல்ஃப்லெஸ் தாட்ஸ் he is have getting devanam balam edhate he gets that daiva balam because of selflessness abhayam satvasam suddhi gnana yoga vyavasthiti in 16th chapter first three verses daivi sampat that is why devanam balam daivi sampat edhate edh dhatu edh present active participle that means increases edhamane satve gune mean when satva guna increases devanam balam edhate daiva balam increases when satva guna increases in me daiva balam increases means all daiva daivi gunas will increase more and more asuranam cha rajasi when rajo guna ஏதமானே யூ கேன் சப்ளை ரஜசி ஏதமானே ஆசுராணாம் பலம் ஏதே வென் ரஜோகுணா இஸ் இன்க்ரீசிங் ஆசுராணாம் தி செல்ஃபிஷ்னஸ் செல்ஃபிஷ் தாட்ஸ் வில் இன்க்ரீஸ் அசுராஸ் அசுஷு ரமந்தே இது அசுராக ஹூஸ் சென்ஸ் ஆர் கான் சார் ஆல்வேஸ் ரெவலிங் இன் த சென்ஸ் ஆப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் அசுராணாம் 
பேரண்ட்ஸ் இசை ஆ லெட் தம் என்ஜாய் இப்போ என்ஜாய் பண்ணலான்னு எப்போ என்ஜாய் பண்ணுவா லெட் தம் என்ஜாய் யங் ஏஜ் லைக் தேட் பீப்புள் பேரண்ட்ஸ் சம்டைம்ஸ் தே வெரி வெரி லூஸ்லி அலோ த சில்ட்ரன் டு என்ஜாய் த லைஃப் ஒன்ஸ் தே கஸ்டம் டு தேட் ப்ளஷர்ஸ் தே மே கோ ராங் அட் எனி டைம் டூ மெனி ப்ளஷர்ஸ் ஆர் நாட் குட் ஆல்வேஸ் அசுராணாம் அசுராஸ் மீன்ஸ் வேற ஆர் அசுரான் ஹியர் ஓன்லி இன் த வேர்ல்ட் ரஜஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் ரஜோகுணா தேர் ஆல்வேஸ் கிரேவிங் ஃபார் செல்ஃபிஷ் ends and pleasures and other people are having or not doesn't matter let me have if you go to public and see the people grabbing pushing others coming forward pushing others and going forward that type of mentality they never allow others to talk they never allow others to go front they never allow any other person to be happy they always want to be happy what is that nature asura nature because of that rajaguna that balam comes to them then tamasahatu he uddhava rakshasam no these people for their comfort they harm to others they harm to others now you see the uh, in our uh, uh, environment in our days any country you see like that the tamasic people harming others you know the blast happened there um in kerala uh, three days back what is that blast in a very conference in convention center tiffin box lo bomb vechitanna who kept it in the same jewish person only kept it. the news is coming what the jewish person says they are teaching hatred towards other religions i was telling from many years many days i am telling but they are not listening to me hmm? that jewish people actually they only crusaded the christ hmm? and they are against to vigraha aradhana they i don't like any other type of worship god etc like that uh, whatever they are teaching hatred so things and all he ex- he brought, brought into the news now therefore he is not able to tolerate the same jewish person put the bomb in the jewish church therefore one person always be against to that wrong things any time so that type of hatred you should not develop so they are all called what an rakshasas <laughs> hating the other worship of other god other people who are worshiping their god they are not able to tolerate they are not able to exist they are chased from their places uh, and uh, going everywhere into the other places other countries also and they are propagating this and uh, that person i kept bomb and uh, how many people nearly 2000 people are there keeping bomb and uh, so much of disturbance in the minds of people who are these people all ராட்சசாசன தமோகுண ரஜோகுண பிரிடாமினேட் வெரி வெரி டிஃபிகல்ட் டேஞ்சரஸ் இன் த நேம் ஆஃப் ரிலீஜியன் தே ஆர் கிரியேட்டிங் லாட் ஆஃப் ஹெவாக் இன் த சொசைட்டி சோஷல் டிஸ்ஹார்மனி தே ஆர் கிரியேட்டிங் ஹெவ்வெரி வேர் பீப்புள் இன் த நேம் ஆஃப் காட் ராங் திங்கிங் ராங் வே ஆஃப் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் அபவுட் காட் they don't listen to others also that much mudha hana that's why krishna says here they do harms they entertain harmful thoughts they are teaching hatred things this person should not keep a bomb that is not the way to change them hey that is the new city is coming the same jewish person attacked the jewish church what you can say you see the people in the church telling to the children that way also wrong this person keeping bomb is also wrong what type of thinking what type of religion what type of worship what type of god they are doing dangerous na <laughs> next verse now what is over na sattva guna dwara daiva balam rajo guna dwara asura balam and uh, tamoguna dwara rakshasa balam nar 
Rakshasa Bala means harming to others. What terrorists are doing, militants are doing, killing the other people. Uh, killing other people, doing all sorts of atrocities, unbearable. Uh, you cannot even hear, you cannot see that the way they are behaving. They are all called Rakshasas. Where are Rakshasas? Don't look here and they are up and down. In this whole world they are pervading everywhere. Atatais. You know. That is the, in the name of religion, that too. In the name of some pleasures, something okay. In the name of God, people are fighting now. See, therefore, not having clarity. Sattva jagaranam vidyat rajasa sapnam adishet praswapam tamasa jantohom turiyam trishu santatam very interesting. The twentieth sloka he says Satvat Satvat Jagaranam Vidyad. Because of Sattva Guna, this person is always awakening, alert, alert living. Sat because of Sattva, he is always wakeful. Watch your dog like. A wakeful person, wakefulness. Jagarana means wakefulness. And a man of sattva guna. Because of rajoguna, rajasa, because of rajoguna, swapna adishet, swapna adishet. He is always in imaginary world, dream world, daydreaming, fancy. Yeah? Always daydreaming. You know? Not in present, but he is in his own uha lokam <laughs> speculations. Praswapam tamasa. Another person, swapam means sushupti. Uh, he is like a, um, an animal, like sleeping, you know, always uh, praswapam tamasa. Jentu, that is what Krishna using the word, he is like a jentu. Jento ho. But a jnani, a wise person, Turiyam Trishu uh, Santatam. Fourth state. It's not a state, not a, to fourth state is not a state or avastha. It is always uh, uh, available. I am, um, I am Turiya Atma. Jnani is above all. Gnani or Vedantic student is above all. That is called Gunati to Bhava Arjuna Nardhidartham. May you become Gunatitaha means may you become Nirguna Hamina. Saguna cannot become Nirguna. Person recognize I am Nirguna Brahman. I am Nirguna Brahman. Saguna is only my lower nature. Now, Sattva Guna people, where they will go after death? <laughs> the Rajo Guna people, where they will go after death? Tamo Guna people. Tamo Guna, Rajo Guna, Sattva Guna means predominant. When Sattva Guna is predominant, they go to higher lokas. Urdhanga Chanti Sattvastaha, Madhyetishtanti Rajasaha, Jaganya Gunavrattastaha, Adoga Chanti Tamasaha. The same topic now is coming. We'll read 21. Uparyu parigachanti satvena brahmano janaha tamasadhodha amukhyam amukhyat rajasa antacharinaha very simple. Sattvena by Sattva Guna Upari Bupari Gachanti Bhuvar Loka, Suvar Loka, Mahar Loka, Jana Loka, Tapu Loka, Satya Loka, Abrahmana Hand, up to Brahma Loka Sattvena Sattvena Upari Bupari Loka Higher Lokas Janaha Sattvic people get that type of lokas means here not spatial wise 
here quality wise superior body superior sense organs all superior quality superior intellect superior mind and a superior quality a irukum and things also you get a superior way and for study spiritual growth etc etc line is very clear for that person because of lot of sattva guna superior bodies next they will get superior qualities quality uh, qualitative life not quantity here qualitative upari upari aa brahmana aa brahmana brahmana up to brahma loka up to brahma loka they will go tamasa rajas rajoguna last he has given uh, lord krishna has given rajasa antaracharina because of rajoguna this people uh, come to back to human birth manushya loka rajasa antaracharina means manushya loka they come back bhuloka ityartha tamo guna dwara adho adho loka aamukhyam aamukhyam means a plant sthavaram like they get the birth of a plant animal atala vitala sutala tala atala rasa atala maha atala patala alu pulu puchi madri ki kila mannula that worms small small insects who are they all these tamo guna people born like that <laughs> and they are not live using the human birth even human birth a person lives tamasik he goes to next birth lower birth lower birth means uh, inferior body with uh, in, no intellect no thinking lot of you know, no independence inferior body inferior place inferior loka that is that type of quality he gets or she gets next 22 satve pralina swaryanti naralokam rajolayah tamulayastu nirayam yanti mameva nirguna same topic continuation what is meant by upari loka adhola previous loka he said higher lokas rajoguna people come to manushya loka mind and tamo guna people go to lower lokas and lower inferior bodies now here lord krishna explain further what do you mean by upari loka higher loka or lower lokas satve pralinah swar yanti swar means swarga loka swaha is indeclinable word swar means swarga loka satvik people go to swarga loka satvik people swarga loka in some religion they are thinking if a person who is not believing in their god i don't want to tell the name you know that they if you don't believe in my god i can kill you if i kill you i can go to swarga na what type of religion is that na huh? he go to swarga by killing others those who are not following their religion huh? those who are opposite to their religion they date different religion they kill the person na his god will give swarga ma adu epdi kudupa theriyala namakku what type of uh, teaching what type of uh, um, belief that how you go to swarga most tamasic person he is uh, by killing others you can never go to swarga okay satve pralina ha swaryanti sattva guna people only go to swarga loka not anybody else who is sattvic people we saw previously manaschantam prashantata chittam mind sense organs all are very steady that type of good thoughts selfless all these are there that person swaryanti naralokam rajolayah layah those who are predominantly rajasik 
they go to naraloka means manushya loka again come back to manushya loka tamulayastu nirayam narakam nirayam means another <laughs> word for it is a very very peculiar usage narai nirayam naraka lokam they go tamasik people tamas tamasi tamasi layam tamasi sati laya maranam eshante tamasi laya nirayam then what nirayam yanti a yanti you have to supply to everyone nirgunaha maam eva yanti nirgunaha means who who transcend sattva guna rajo guna tamo guna all the three gunas they attain me maam yanti maam yanti means paramatmanam who who transcend the three gunas that means um, bhagavan attaining bhagavan means claiming that i am brahman that is the idea making use of the mind to say i am not the mind making use of uh, sattva guna and say i am beyond sattva guna use the sattva guna to say i am beyond sattva guna i transcend sattva guna next shloka 23 beautiful shlokas simple shlokas communicating so much hmm? that's why uddhava gita is um, fantastic so many subjects uh, ideas are available here now madarpanam nishphalam va satvikam nija karma yatat rajasam phala sankalpam himsa prava himsa prayadi tamasam satvik people are those people without expecting any phalam nishphalam means without having any kama na nishkamataya nishphalam means without expecting nishphalam madarpanam madarpanam means they offer to me anything nija karma means their um, activities whatever they do nija karma regular um, selfless activities all of them their duties when they perform nija karma varna ashrama according to their varna according to their ashrama their nija karma that given duties nitya naimittika karma towards father towards mother towards family towards society whatever given duties they perform the satvik people without any expecting the results madarpanam offering to the lord ಮಚ್ಚಿತ್ತ ಸರ್ವದುರ್ಗಾಣಿ ಮತ್ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ತರಿಷ್ಯತಿ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ಗೀತ ರಾಜಸಂ ಫಲ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪಂ ದಿಸ್ ರಾಜಸಿಕ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪ ಫಲಂ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಫಲ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪಂ ರಾಜಸಂ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾಮ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮ ಸಾತ್ವಿಕ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವಿಹಿತ ಕರ್ಮ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡನ್ ರಾಜಸಿಕ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ they don't do what is to be done they do what they want for their desires to fulfill to fulfill they do whereas tamasam himsa prasa prayadi himsa prayadi do all himsa all these terrorists what they are doing himsa uh, fighting bomb killing all me all those things uh, therefore nishphalam means not useless here it it is uh, my duty without expecting any phalam which it is my duty with that idea he performs he obliges that given duties without any resistance without any murmuring this is the idea
very good nice om pur namada pur namidam pur nat pur namudachate pur nasya pur namadaya pur nameva vasishyate om shanti 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 hari hi om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi om